Hello everyone, my name is Rafael Eduardo Hernandez Delgado, matchmaker number 252770, and today I'm going to be presenting my report and my application for my final year project. As you guys know, I, I made a attendance and temperature a software, an application, it's a web application which is compatible with most modern devices that is used, going to be used for teachers uh, to track the attendance of their students and their temperature. Uh, since doing it manually, it's uh, risky for the current situation of the pandemic, of uh, the risk of infection, and it's also it also takes uh, a lot of effort to do it manually. So this application helps to streamline it. Uh, the application is going to be hosted uh, on GitHub. Here, this is the repo. Uh, I'll leave it in the description and in in the readme here uh, and the. Uh, in the description of the of the video, and I'll leave the this documentation on the on the repo in the readme. Um, so just a heads up with the prototype. This is the basic idea of the application. Uh, you have a landing page, login, and then you track the the you manage the users, the students, your classes, and you add the topics and all that. So I deployed my application in Heroku. However, uh, here this is my repository. This is the application I'm going to be using, and I can just uh, I can open PowerShell window here, and I can just uh, run Rails server, and I can host my own server in my computer of the application. I need to wait a little bit for it to run. So it's executing here and it's running now so I can go to localhost 3000 and here's the application running. Uh, but I'm just going to use the example that's hosted on the web. You can go, this is the URL. Uh, it should be up until Heroku is up so you can check it out yourself. So you can log in. It's loading. Uh, and this is the login page, yep, as you can see. Um, but let's say you don't have an account, so you can sign up for a new account. Uh, for example, let's say Victor. Vic at test.com. Generic password. And it says, hello, Victor. You can go to the dashboard. We don't store the uh, the passwords in in plain text. If you can see here, we go to Victor. You can see the password is encrypted. Uh, and here you can see the users. Ideally, uh, you you have the administration rights here. However, this at the moment is not functional. Uh, but the the code is there, so we can we could implement it later. Here you can see the list of students. You can add the students. Uh, all the CRUD. Uh, functions are there to create, edit, uh, update, create, read, update, destroy, or delete. So here you can choose the grade, six grade, example third year, name, Aina, for example. With the metric number, it depends on the institution. Some have, some of them have it, some don't. So you can have uh, nine years old, for example, and female. And you'll see here, students. And the sessions are uh, the lectures, uh, the classes. So when you create a session, you choose uh, which lecture is given the class. For example, Victor is given the class. It's going to be in third year. And the subject is going to be, for example, um, biology. And you can choose the class time and the class date. Uh, Here's going to be the, the class session. Then on the attendance, you can add the new attendance. You choose from, from the classes and the list of students if it attended, and then the temperature. Example 35 degrees. Uh, ideally, this is going. This should be done with QR code and a 
temperature scanner. However, because of uh, time constraints, we were not able to finish that uh, feature. And yes, uh, this is basically my application. You can check it out on GitHub and you can go to the URL. Also, signing out is very simple. You just click log out and you will be logged out. Let's try the login just uh, for the sake of completion. Type vic at test.com. And yeah, there it is. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and see you later. Bye.